it's just such a great day for reading poetry outside, and that's what I've been doing. I've been using this poem to help me figure out the theme. I really like finding themes when I'm reading stories or poems. It really helps me understand poems and stories. So what is a theme? It's not what the story is about, but it's what the story is really about. So I'll give you an example. When I look at stories, when I look at poems, the first thing I do is I try to figure out from the details, what is the story or poem mostly about? Then I move on and I try to think, huh, what does this story or poem have to do with my life? Now to find the theme, I have to relate the poem not just to my life, but to everybody's life. How could this poem or story affect everyone? What does that have to do with everyone's life? I'll show you what I mean with a couple of poems of my own. We'll start with this one by Shel Silverstein. Let's read it together. Listen to the Mussins by Shel Silverstein. Listen to the Mussins, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never-haves. Then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. So when I'm reading a poem or a book, if I want to find out the theme, I like to look at two things. First, I look for what gets repeated over and over again. Maybe certain things happen over and over again in a story or a poem, or certain kind of words get repeated over and over again. In this poem, we keep seeing negative terms over and over, like mustn't, don't, shouldn't, won't. All these words remind me of times when somebody has told me I couldn't do something or something that I can't do. Now, I also like to look at the end of a poem or a story. A lot of times the author includes something important at the end of a poem or story. Here, the end of the poem says, anything can happen, child, anything can be. Now that part of the poem makes me think that I'm being uplifted. I'm being told that I can really do anything. Huh. So let's think about those two parts of the poem. People saying that you can't and then somebody saying that you can. If I think about those two important parts, I start to think, what is the author really trying to say? What is his theme? I think the author's theme in Listen to the Mustn'ts is that while people might tell you that you can't do something, you should really only listen to the people who tell you you can do anything. Now let's look at another poem together. How to Paint a Donkey by Naomi Shiab Nye. She said the head was too large, the hooves too small. I could clean my paintbrush but I couldn't get rid of that voice. While they watched, I crumpled him. Let his blue body stain my hand. I cried when he hit the can. She smiled. I could try again. Maybe this is what I unfold in the dark, deciding for the rest of my life. That donkey was just the right size. Let's look at the details of this poem, and then we can figure out what this poem is about. The first lines say, she said the head was too large, the hooves too small. Someone must have told the author that a painting that she made didn't look right. We know that the author feels bad about this because later she says, I could clean my paintbrush, but I couldn't get rid of that voice. She can't stop thinking about someone else's criticism of her work. Now she throws the donkey picture away. It says, I cried when he hit the can. The can must mean a trash can. Now let's pay special attention to the last lines of this poem. Poets know that because those lines come last, we'll remember them the most, so they usually put important things in these lines. This says, deciding for the rest of my life, that donkey was just the right size. The poet believes that this picture was perfect the way she made it, even if someone else said it didn't look right. She makes that decision for the rest of her life. This is a life-changing decision for her. It's probably something that she'll do whenever anybody judges her artwork in the future. 
After reading the details, what do you think this poem is mostly about? Pay close attention to those last lines. I think this poem is about someone judging your artwork and saying it doesn't look right, when in fact, it looks just the way that you intended it to. This poem reminds me of my own experience. When I was a kid, I drew this picture of myself. I had this big head and this little body. I thought it was a great picture, but my classmates laughed at it. Now thinking back, I still think it was a great picture, and I wish I wasn't worried about what my classmates thought of it. Now let me take what I know about how this poem reminds me of my life and see if I can make it relate to everyone's life so I can find the theme. Now if I think hard, I start to think that this poem is really about art and how whenever you make art, the only person who you should care about, the only opinion that matters is your own. So that's what I think the theme of this poem is. So readers, the next time that you're reading a poem or a story, think to yourself, what do the details of this poem tell me is what the story is about or this poem is about? Then think, how does this poem or story relate to me? Use what you know about the poem relating to you and try to get that poem to relate to everyone. Once you find how a poem or story relates to everyone's life, then you've found the theme.